Hi there, it's Nick Psyle here and welcome to the episode today called Red Brain versus Blue Brain. Now, let me set it up so you get it. So the red brain is our reactionary brain. This is what's called the fight or flight syndrome type brain. In other words, what it does is it keeps us out of harm way and either we're going to fight or we're going to get out of there. Now, how does this relate today to a modern human? A modern human is under all different stresses. Money stress, it could be, you know, accommodation stress, it could be food stress, it could be, you know, I need to be in a relationship stress, I need a fancy car stress. But how is it in business? On so business, obviously, you got stress of what? You know, constructing, con conducting your business and making money. And then we've got what's called the blue brain. So the blue brain is the logical side of us, or what's called the frontal lobe. This is what gives us an element of pause, an element of reason, an element of choice, right? And how does that relate today? Well, today you can go, well, I'd like, you know, that sandwich, or you know what, I might get a kebab, right? <laughs> Let's say where it comes to food, or I like this choice of car or that choice of car, or maybe, you know, today I'll go to Bali, and then, you know, our next holiday could be Europe, do you see? You get a decision. Now, how does that relate into business? In business, you go, hey, this is the information in front of me, and here's what I need to do. Somebody's asked me for a product or service, I can respond to them favorably, I can close the sale, and then I can choose to deliver that product or not choose to deliver the product. Hopefully, it's the deliver the product, right? So do you see there's two different types? Now, here's the problem with business owners. Unfortunately, they're not even aware of what state they're in. So a lot of the times they go into a situation where they're really stressed and they don't even understand that level of stress is because they're in that situation all the time. Now, when the body releases high level of adrenaline and cortisol, it makes you feel edgy. Your heartbeat goes up, your blood pressure goes up. All of these things start to happen within the body and it doesn't allow your brain to think clearly. You get this brain fog or you feel uneasy or tense, right? So when you're in that situation, if you're not even aware of that situation, unfortunately, trying to get a favorable outcome is literally impossible. It's like using the wrong tool for the job. So, you know, business owners need to really understand how to manage that flow, how to go from a red brain, you know, at some levels to react to certain things. You need to be witty. You need to be on the game because today our client is what? intelligent much more than they used to be from a product knowledge or a service knowledge point of view right but you also need the calmness of being okay with it now what does this mean to you as a business owner if you can first start to identify what state that you're in then you're able to you know uh, apply it into your business in a what a logical manner moving forward so every time that you go into a situation I want you to think about just checking in with yourself just to see how you feel now if you're somebody as an example that isn't good at selling more than likely you might go in there you're going to feel your heart racing a little bit your palms get a bit you know dry it's the same as people that get up and have to you know uh, do a pitch for their business or speak on their you know on their business or on behalf of somebody if they're not into it they really drop into that fear mindset versus the excitement part of the brain or the reason side of the brain where you really need to be at now how does it affect your business you can imagine every single time that you go into that scenario if you're in the wrong brain state it's hard to get the outcome that you want and you always feel edgy and guess what? I can guarantee you that your prospect or your customer is definitely picking up on that energy. You know, you've been into a situation where it's been a little bit tense, right? So you can feel that. So what do you do about it? I believe that there's three things that you can do. Number one, just be aware of it. Okay? Be aware on how you're feeling. You can check in. If you're clenching your jaw tight or your heart feels like it's racing, you know, obviously, the red brain is being dominant. Number two, guess what you want to do? You want to make sure that you practice it, practice it, practice it. So the best way that I think about it is all professional athletes make it look so simple. Why? Because they've practiced that scenario a million times and they just make it look easy. Cool? And number three, make sure that you measure it so then you can look back at it to go, hey, guess what? Once I'm aware of it, I can absolutely change it. And the only way to understand, you know, to be able to change it is to make sure that you record it. So then you can look back and find out what's going on with you and how you can edit that in your business. Sound cool? I'm Nick Sala. And remember, the only way is up.